Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Ron. I'm calling from the corporate office with AT&T. How are you doing? Oh, you know what? I'm in the middle of a meeting right now, Ron. Oh, no problem. I, uh, we had a complaint that had been registered here, but I'll go ahead and mark it as resolved. Uh, not really, but, mm. you know, I had to... I. Um, so just to confirm, am I speaking with Heine? Yes. Uh, hi, yes. hi, Heine. Um, yes. Yeah. What What was the complaint about? Uh, sir, I'm like I said, I'm in the middle of a very important meeting right now. Huh. I have to pack up my stuff and do it because I don't have it at my home. So if you don't mind calling me in an hour. In an hour. Okay, no problem. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt your meeting, Heine, and we'll speak soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. She fucking is called Heine as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so is that Heine? Yeah, hi. Hi, Heine. It's Ron with AT&T. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I mean, I'm I'm still in a meeting, but that... Oh, hold on. That's okay. I can monitor. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> I've been with AT&T, and it literally... I had, like, of course, as... You know, today would have it. I had a really, really important um, meeting that I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And but but my complaint was this. It took me five calls to AT&T and each one, you know, walk, and it was all automated. You know what I mean? I kept saying, I need to speak to a representative. I need someone in technical service. And it was like, oh, no, let's auto, you know, it was the autom automated. Oh, unplug this, do that. When the green, the light is green, hit one. And then, oh, my mistake. But, you know, I mean, it was just like, stress me out. <laughs> it, wait, wait, wait. Took... Hold on. Hold on a moment. You're complaining because you had to make multiple calls because you pressed the wrong button. No, I didn't press the wrong button, sir. What did you do then? How did you mess it up? Well, because every time I placed a call to AT&T, uh -huh. the first call was automated and said, okay, we can help you with that. Do this. Right. You know, unplug that. Do this. Okay. Press the button. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Uh -huh. and, uh, and they said, oh, okay, my mistake. And they hung up to reboot. You know, I go. Okay, I called again, right. got, went through the same automated process, unplug this, do that, tell me when the green light, you know, press one, mm -hmm. you know, the green light is on. And it said, okay, my mistake, hung up again. And, and in the beginning, you know, they say, how can we help you? You know, all automated. And I say, it's my Wi-Fi, you know. I don't understand. My Wi-Fi is down. May I speak to a representative? Five times I went through this. Finally, I got a, a so, you know, I don't know how it prompted, but I said, I'd like to speak to a representative. Finally, they said, we'll connect you the next one. So I waited in line for another 15 minutes. Okay. You know. And okay, the guy, you know, the guy helped me. He was very, he was great. Mm. Apparently, I need a technician to come out here. But my point is, sir, you know, I've had more internet problems, like dropping out at the most important thing. But really, just even trying to get through to someone mm. was, 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 you know, beyond stressful. You know, if you can imagine, I don't know if in your position you don't, you know, go through that. But, um, yeah, I finally go, you know, just to let you know, I didn't push any wrong buttons, hmm. you know, but and it took a while, you know, it took a while for me. You know, like I said, you know. I had to call them five times before I actually got the actual help. Hmm. Okay. I'm uh... Which, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Which leaves, yeah, which leaves me, by the way, without internet at my house, 
until tomorrow, until the technician comes between 8 and, and 12. You know, my business is all done at home. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just looking at some information about your line to try and see what's happening. Now, you haven't had any actual service outages. When you say that the Wi-Fi is dropping, what do you exactly mean by that? Well, what I mean is it, it, it's in, you know, it, every day, you know, I'll, uh, you know, know, I'll have either the TV on or something, you know, I'll be on know. my computer and it disconnects. Okay. And does your computer connect via wireless or does it have a cable going into it? No, everything I have is wireless. Everything is my, wireless. Yeah, my printer, my computer, right? And then, and and I actually even uh, got um, two Wi-Fi extenders, you know, just to make I know. sure. Um, hmm. So you're using Wi-Fi extenders? Yeah, and and I mean, and my house is not a huge house, you know what I mean? I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm just trying to. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, you, you kept, you know, you kept asking to, me if and, I. You, and I you kept asking me if that, I know, so I was saying. You know. Yes, I know. I'm still on. I know. You don't need to keep asking me if I know, ma'am. I I know. You keep you keep saying it. So sorry. What we what were you saying? So you're using Wi-Fi extenders. You know, correct. Okay, and who? What is the manufacturer of the Wi-Fi extenders that you bought? Um, it's through AT and T. To whom am I speaking, by the way, sir? If, if you don't mind me asking. My name is Ron. R O N. You Ron, know. Thank you. You know. You know. Hmm. You know. Okay. Um, so these are AT&T extenders that you purchased, correct? Correct. Okay. Have you tried... No, I didn't, I didn't purchase them, sir. AT&T sent them to me. Oh, that's really... Oh, good. That, that's... I don't know who set that up for you, but that's really nice of them. Normally, we don't do that for free. Oh, well, they charged me, but I just want you to know it's AT&T. I didn't, right. I didn't that's, go that's I you know, elsewhere to, to buy extenders. Right, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. Um, and have you tried plugging the computer directly into your router with a cable, with an Ethernet cable? Uh, no, I have not, sir, because actually uh, when I finally got a hold of Mike, who was kind enough to help me, um, you know, I didn't. I know. You know, he. I know. He didn't suggest that, but but it's not ideal for me because my office and where the router is are in two separate places. You know what I mean? And I know. It, it, and I don't have room. I have you know the main router is in the main bedroom, and my office is. You know. Uh, you know. You know. Um, you know. <laughs> yes, I know, ma'am. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, Wait, why do you keep saying I know, I know? I'm not saying anything about but that. But you keep, you, keep you keep saying, you know, you know, you know. And so I'm saying, yes, I know. Did you not realize you were doing it? You're doing it like every, every at the end of every sentence, you keep saying, you know. And I am just wanted to make sure I wasn't being rude. You know? Well, you, act you actually are, sir, because... When somebody, okay. wh why do you keep saying, you know, what, how am I supposed you, to respond to that? And then I can, I'll make a note here. You know, in the American know. language, maybe it, it, it's, it's, it's a language uh, tick that people uh, use at the end. Ma'am, let me just correct you. American isn't a language. It's called English. And you, you, it's, what, I, is I was, your, what is your what is your position with AT and T, sir? If I may ask, I am a uh, junior customer service operative. Okay. But, ma'am, I mean, you you kept saying, you know, you know, you know, and so I was just saying, yes, I know. I don't understand why you're upset about that. If you don't want me to respond, then don't say it. You know. You're saying it. Yes. You just said it. Yes, it was very. And I don't it was, say, it was very and I don't deliberate. respond and say, "Oh, I know." 
Right, ma'am, that was deliberate, okay? Obviously that... Okay, but don't don't worry about it. Um, so, okay. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you, ma'am, the problem is nothing to do with your internet service. There's nothing the technician is going to be able to do. It's a problem is, is with the Wi-Fi signal. You need to either move, uh, move the computer closer to the router or plug it in with a cable and you won't have this problem. Actually, sir, uh, the technician that helped me said that the signal is not going through the router is the problem. Hmm. The signal is not going through the router. What do you think that means? You explain it to me. It's your business. Well, there's, there is no signal as such. I mean, we're not talking about like an old-fashioned TV or radio. There is no signal. Um, the, the cord, the cord. The cord. That he asked me to unplug from the router, mm -hmm. and he asked me to unplug from the source of it. Mm -hmm. And and when the uh, the router, you know, with the green light, okay, I said, you know, it's just part of the language. I'm not questioning whether you know. I know. It's um, the the router was registering the power was solid, but the broadband one and two were blinking and were not connecting. That's okay. why he suggested to send a technician out gotcha. tomorrow to determine. Okay. Um, and did he ask you to try plugging an Ethernet cable directly into the uh, router? He did not suggest that, and I wouldn't even begin, wouldn't know how to do that because my computer is, or my laptop so is it, it's a laptop. wireless. Mm. Right, but it has an Ethernet port. Uh, it does. Yes, yeah. So, because it's a laptop, it's designed to be portable. I don't know if you know that, but you can move it. Of course, it. I do, sir. Yeah. yeah. So, so you move it towards the router, and then you plug it in. But but which port do I plug it in the router? Because there are quite a few. There's the green, and then there's three yellow ones, and then there's another port. These are all the different ports yeah. behind you, the router. You, I know, I know. You uh, you plug it into one of the yellow ones. Any of them. Are you? Uh, That's some. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, it's something I could try. I can't try it now because I'm actually in the middle of a show. But so show. looking at the back of it, I actually have the the green port, right? And then I have four. Yellow, Yellow port. ports. And what did I just say? Do you remember? Do you remember? And then there's a, a, there's a red port. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But do you remember now, when I said plug it into one of the yellow ones? Correct. But my yellow ones are all are all taken because two of the, uh, the Wi-Fi extenders are, are connected. It in there, which okay. I can probably take one out. Yes. Because now, let me help you out. Ones... Hold on a minute, ma'am. Let me help you out here. How many yellow ports are on the back? Is it four? Uh, four. Okay. And how many Wi Fi extenders do you have? Two. Okay. What's four minus two? Two. Right, and so that's how many ports you have left over. I know, but for each port, there's something plugged in. To all the yellow ports that I have, there are things that are plugged into it. Right, what else is plugged in? So there are four ports, there are two Wi-Fi extenders. What are the other things that you've got plugged in? Well, let's see. The other port uh, is plugged into the uh, receiver box or whatever this other box is that you have. The receiver box. You know the 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 Uvers uh, uh, box. Okay, 
And what's the last? You know, um, I know. And, I know. And what's, then the what? other one is plugged into the uh, uh, WPS. The WPS. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and what is it you think WPS stands for? What is that? That's uh, blah, 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 something. Ac uh, what you tell me? I have no idea, ma'am. I have absolutely no idea. Are you... Yeah. The guy told me what it meant. It was like WPS. It's, you know... Uh, it's you know what all I know is that know. it's the little thing you know, that gets when you pair things with you it. Know. It does the pairing. You know. I I legitimately have no clue what you mean. So something about pairing. It you know. I know. Uh, it. You know. I know. It. Wait you know. wait. I know. You, you, you know, know what's it. happening here? This phone call. I am hearing an echo that keeps saying, "You know it." I know. You know it. It's not coming from me. Well, it's. I can only hear your voice on the line. Is that not you? I'm trying to tell you from my end. Every time I, I speak, I hear something that say, "You know it. You know it. You know, you know it. it. You are know you, it." Are you sure it's not just saying, "You know"? You know it. Yes, I know. You know. It's it. Say, yes, see, I know. it did it again. That wasn't me saying that. What do you mean? It keeps saying, you know it. Huh? You know it. Yes, I know. I, that wasn't me. You know it. Yes, I know. That, that wasn't me saying that. It's what I'm trying to tell you. There's something you know weird it. going on. But that's your voice, you know though. It. That's definitely your voice. I don't... I'm not saying it. But you know it. How can that be? I Yes, I know. I, that's why I'm asking you. You, what you're hearing, I'm not saying. What? What did you say? What I'm hearing, you're not saying. But how am I? How am I hearing it? I don't understand. Because you keep saying, "I know, I know," and you know when, when you see. Yes, I, I know. didn't say. I didn't say you know it. I know. I didn't you say know it. it. I know. This is so bizarre. What? I. What do you mean? I don't. This is weird. You know, uh, yes, I know. Yes, yes, yes. I, I didn't know. say that. But that I was, didn't say that. That was your voice, though. I you didn't know. say it, though. But it, how... keep, it keeps saying it. I didn't say that. No wonder you were going. Why do you keep? I didn't. I'm. I'm not saying it. Um. I don't. This is very bizarre, Ron. This is really weird. You know, I've no. Yes, I know. I've never had this happen before. I just... Me neither. That's oh why goodness. I was going, why, why does he keep saying, I know, I know? Well, you, you, really, you, know, were, you really were saying it back then, though. You, no, uh, I wasn't. <laughs> it just happened again. It, you, Man, know, you were, though. You were. You say it, it a lot. You do say it a lot. I'm going to be honest. I say, I say, you know, but I don't go, you know it, you know it, you, you know, know it. it. It's not, you know, I'm not you hearing know you know it. I'm just hearing you say, you know, you know, you know. From my end, when I'm not saying anything, I am hearing and it's saying, you know it. It's not saying, you know it. It's not saying that. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing from my end <laughs> without okay. saying a word. Have you seen a doctor about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I might. I might have to. This has never happened to me. First of all, you know, I'm not a computer illiterate here. Really? You know. You're, you're not a computer illiterate. I didn't say it. What? Huh? I just didn't say it right then and there, <laughs> and I heard it. You didn't say what? You didn't say what, ma'am? Which, which bit didn't you, you say? I didn't say you know it. I never heard you know it. I just heard you say you know. I don't know where that I'm is. I didn't know. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You know it. You know it. Whatever it is you're hearing, I didn't say. You know it. It's very strange. So don't. 
don't accuse me of having to see a doctor. First of all, that's quite a rude statement to say. <laughs> Ma'am, I just it's, you told me you were hearing things. That's all. I was just trying to be helpful. You know, I was explaining to you that I wasn't saying those things that you're accusing me of saying. Right. And, but, cha- and, and challenging me. But it's your voice, though. It's definitely your voice. It, I'm not saying it. You may think it's my voice. I'm not saying it. Ma'am, you know. Are you, uh, yes, I know. Right there. Huh? Right there. Huh? Right there. I didn't Where? say that. What? Where? Okay, Ron. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> I, this is just the most bizarre customer service call I've ever yeah, I've, received. Yeah, I've never had this and, problem and before. I mean, uh, let, let's try and get through this, okay? Um, I, am, I would like to, but in a more respectful manner, please. Ma'am, I'm being completely respectful here. I've been nothing but patient and courteous with you. Um, I, I'm just trying to fix the problem so that you're, you, know, you can work. You can use your uh, internet. Obviously. Thank you. Well, there's no need to be facetious, ma'am. I'm, you know, I'm doing my best here, despite your obvious mental health problems. Now, wow, I mean, are c- you fucking kidding me right now? Whoa, 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 whoa! Language, ma'am. Please don't get angry you with me. You accuse me of having a mental health problem. Are I you- want to talk to your supervisor right now. Uh oh, not the supervisor. You, you have been so combative. I have not. I've been over backwards, despite your ignorant behavior, and there is no ignorant. need to cuss at me. Okay, I'm writing this all down. Ignorant behavior, mm-hmm. mental health issue. Yeah. Do you need me to spell that for you? I'm going to record this. Okay. Do you want to speak to my supervisor, ma'am? Maybe I, can... I, yes, I would, please. Okay. Are you okay to hold for just a moment while I uh, find a supervisor for you? Thank you very much. Okay. You know. One moment. Yes, I know. Jesus. I didn't say that. <laughs> didn't say what, ma'am? Just what you heard. You know what? You know, I didn't say it. You know. Okay, I ma'am. I didn't say that. I didn't. Okay, you didn't say what you... Uh, okay, look. What you're hearing, I <laughs> am not saying. Well, who's saying it then? Who's saying that? I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm saying to you, this is very strange. You are hearing something that I am not verbalizing. Huh? Okay. Please get me your supervisor. Yeah, I, I was just doing that before you interrupted me, okay? Can you hold for one moment? Yes, I can. You know... Y- yes, I know. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Thank you for holding you through the Scobia Supervisor at at and Who am I speaking with today? Hi, my name is Henry Reisinger, and I'm sorry, I didn't get your name, sir. My name is Scoby. Scoby, S-C-O-B-I-E? Yes, Correct, Amundo. That- okay. Well... First of all, I am so appalled at Ron, this junior customer service um, individual. What on earth did Ron do to you today, ma'am? Sorry? 
What I'm on sorry? earth did Ron say to you? What happened? What happened? Well, well uh, he, first of all, he called me ignorant. My that, uh, that I need mental health help. That I'm an ignorant person. My behavior is out of ignorance, and there was something reverberating saying, you know it, you know it, that I was hearing from my end without me verbalizing it. And he kept saying, I know, I know. Why do you keep saying that? I know, I know. Very, very rude. You know, and I'm going right there. I just heard it. I didn't say it. And I was explaining what, exactly what a did we- you hear, ma'am? What, a what weird exactly did phone you hear? Call. But needless to say, I am a customer of AT and T, and his behavior was very competitive, very condescending, and you know, really competitive. To accuse me of having mental health issues and you having know, ignorant behavior. You know, it's completely out of line, you know, and it's happening Ma'am, again. Well, let me ask you a question. What is, what's happening again? Do you hear when the voice says, you know it? Yes, I, you just said that. I didn't. I didn't. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I, I wasn't uttering those words. I was talking Ma'am, to you about the only behavior. thing I know is. OK, I have not repeated that phrase at all. Uh, I only hear you saying that to me. But sir, I don't want to what I'm offend you explain. Or, or anything you like guys, that, ma'am. You you guys are <laughs> saying that I am saying those words. I am not. I hear is it there from any, my end. Do you take any type of medication, ma'am? Or is this maybe just that, is it maybe just in your head, possibly? No, sir. Uh, whatever it is that you guys are accusing me of saying, I'm not verbalizing. You know, what I'm, I didn't say that right now. But yes, I, I, I do. I, I, I know, ma'am, you, you said it like 10 times already i i i didn't i do this is what, i do know this this is what i'm explaining to you you guys are telling me i keep saying these words i am not you know saying those is there somebody else that's on the line is there anybody else in the home with you right now ma'am are you sharing the no. line with someone um no no nobody is here do you go by more than one first name or is there any other names that you go by? No. No, I, I know. Okay. Um, I've never been this upset that you guys are asking me if I'm on medication. I'm alone. Um, I would like to elevate this. With do you do any medication. recreational drugs? Is there any drug usage that maybe you kind of keep to yourself? Anything like that? No. Um, I really would like to elevate this, and I would like to speak to someone above you. You know. Oh. I didn't okay, say that. Yeah, yeah. If you heard that, I didn't say it. Hear what? You just asked to speak to somebody above me. Correct. So I'm confused. Do you want to speak to somebody above me or do you not? Yes, I do. Okay, just one moment. I'll go ahead and get my manager, my higher up on the line for you. Thank you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
there. This is Hank with AT&T. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I'm hi. sorry, what is your name again? My name is Hank. Hank? Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Oh. Yes. Um, um. I don't know quite how to approach this. Okay. But what happened? Customer, what happened, customer ma'am? Customer service. Yes. Twice now. Uh-huh. Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am, hello? I don't know where she went, you guys. Hello? Oh, my God. I think she got disconnected. I'll call her back. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. It's Hank with AT&T here. I think we got disconnected there. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, what, what happened exactly? They called me. They were trying to help me. There was two. But what I take umbrage with, and I really am going to take this up higher than you even, because I actually have been accused of you have a mental health problem. You know, Excuse me, ma'am. I don't have a... Why would you say that ignorant. to me, ma'am? I, I'm not ignorant and I don't have a mental health problem, ma'am. I'm not saying you do. They were accusing me. Your customer service people. Oh my were God! Really? Me they, they said of that to you. A mental health problem. My ignorant you know behavior. The next you know one it. asks me, "Are you on medication? Are you on you know recreational it. drugs?" You know. It. Oh my God! Yes, I know, ma'am. I know. And and did you get the names of the individuals that said yes. these remarks to yes. you? What what are the, the names? The first one was Ron. Yes. Okay. The second one was Scoby, and I am gonna take this public. This you know is this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. You know oh my gosh! What do you mean Ron, you're gonna take it public? Ron what does that mean? Was Ron was combative with me from the very beginning. You know. Well, ma'am, ma'am. First of all, I'm, I'm sorry about this. I'm new to the situation, so I'm just writing down all the notes here. Uh, we have two Rons that work here. Did you get Ron's last name? No, but Ron had a British um, accent. Well, we have two Rons that work here. Um, uh, both of them are actually British. What part of Britain was he from? Was he from the I north or know. the south? I didn't ask. Huh. Well, you can tell Hank, by the accent. Hank, what is... Well, I'm not an expert at language. Hank, what is your last, uh, what is your last name? Or right. your position, rather? <laughs> Well, I am a senior manager here at the corporate office. Okay. And and these calls are recorded, correct? Yes, ma'am. All calls are recorded for quality and training purposes. Well, you better make sure that these re were recorded so that you hear this is totally unacceptable to say that I have a mental health issue, that I uh, my behavior is ignorant, asking me if I'm on medication, asking me if I'm if I'm the only one in the house, asking me if you I know, do recreational drugs. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, man! What no. does that have to do with customer service with AT and T? You know. Yeah, yes, ma'am, I know. Are you, is everything okay? I didn't, and that's I, the other oh. thing. I just didn't say you know it. There is a, something reverberating on the phone that keeps saying you know it, and it's not me. You know. Oh, oh my goodness. I didn't say that. What, what do you mean you didn't say that, ma'am? Do I don't understand. Did you hear? Did you hear just say you know it? I, I heard your voice and you said, you know, and I, I, I just. Correct. I, uh, but I didn't say it. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm not verbalizing it from my end. I don't know if this line is rigged or not. I am not verbalizing that. What do you mean by rigged? Well, because I'm not saying those words and you guys are hearing it. Huh. I, I, I just don't understand what you mean, ma'am. I mean, we, we, which words didn't you say? I don't know what you mean here. 
I didn't say you know that you heard. So who said it, ma'am? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's not coming from me. But I, I just but, but, but no needless one... to say, uh-huh. needless to say, Hank. Yes, ma'am. Those those accusations and those uh, those what your customer people said to me is out of line, and I am going to take this public, and I am I want to know who your boss is because this. Is ma'am, unacceptable in ma'am, customer service. I, I am the most senior. You know yes, I know. I'm the most senior manager here at the corporate office, okay, ma'am? So I will be handling this complaint personally. I, I can assure you we do not accept that kind of behavior, okay? Not at all. And, and what uh, you said you are the senior manager at which location? At the corporate office, ma'am. This was escalated to the corporate division. My name is Hank Police, and I would be happy to give you all my information. I will be managing this case for you until it is resolved to your satisfaction. Could you please spell your last name for me? I certainly can, ma'am. It's P-E-N-I-S-E. Penice. Hank Penice, and you're the senior manager at the corporate office. But I'm still going to make this public as far as customer well, service no, ma- goes. Ma- 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 because... <laughs> It is unacceptable. Ma'am, How would you, you know like it. it if someone, you know, you are calling customer service you know and they say, oh, you have a mental health issue. You, your behavior is ignorant. You know, do you want me to spell it for you? Are you alone and are you, you know, on medication? Are you on recreational drugs? Are you kidding me, Hank? Are you kidding me? Save that. your years. No, ma- that that is obviously not acceptable, ma'am. I mean, I I I, I can only apologize for what what they've said. I I really can. I would like to get this situation resolved for you. I see that you had an engineer book to come out tomorrow between eight a.m. and twelve, but I see that Ron has canceled that appointment. Um, why why did he cancel it? Well, he, uh, in the notes he's written that you just need to plug an Ethernet cable into your router. And then you will fix the problem. Well, that's not what the technician told me that helped me through the process that I finally got through after five phone calls. And he's the one that scheduled the technician. I cannot be without Wi-Fi. And now, why does Ron make the decision... Well, yeah, to, because to cancel right, right, my technician. I can see from when the When nothing is working, you know... Yes, I know. Um, I, I can see in the notes. I didn't say that. We, well, my, I didn't say I didn't, that. Which part didn't you say, ma'am? You know. I you don't know. know which part. I don't know which part. Which part I didn't, didn't you say? say? Huh? Anyway, you know what? Uh, here, let's just do this. Um, you know. Yeah. It, it, I know. It's not over. It's not over. You know, uh, no, ma- I'm ma- going to ma- take ma- this public. Ma'am, 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 I, I would really like to help you out here. I'm trying my best. I, 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 you're being very difficult to deal with here, okay? I, well, uh, well, 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 wouldn't you be upset if people said all those things to you? I'm not being difficult. I already, re- I already resolved the ma'am, problem ma'am, after I, I, five no, I, phone calls, I, 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 and now you've canceled the technician for ma'am, tomorrow. I, I, abs- I didn't cancel didn't the technician. didn't say te- that. Okay, I, I, uh, ma'am, listen, my, my best friend at school, he had a drug problem too, and I certainly wouldn't like it mentioned on a professional phone call, so I completely understand why you're I upset. I don't have a drug problem now. You're accusing me of a drug problem? No, you said you had to say that. You said you had the drug problem, and you said that no, I, I, I... No, they fucking asked me ma'am. if I had recreational drugs. Ma'am, you know. I know. Ma'am, please try and watch the language. I just, I, I'm, not, I'm trying to understand the situation here, but I can't help you if you're going to be like this. You're being belligerent, and you're confusing me. Now I'm belligerent because of the things that your customer service people have been accusing me of. Okay, you know, uh, I know. So, uh, they, you're oh, no. I, I'm done. I'm done. I am contacting my attorney and I'm going to take this public. This is beyond unreasonable. 
Well, ma'am, I'm being perfectly reasonable here. I'm trying to understand the situation so I can get it fixed for you. Hank, the problem is this. Yes. My situation technically was already handled by Mike after, you know, five I phone don't. calls and had scheduled a technician to come to my house tomorrow. Uh-huh. Not you know, only I have know. you now have have you now canceled yeah. that technician, you know, there are now a I, barrage of language that you know you I have and not used staff, any bad language, ma'am. You are the only you one that used and bad your language staff here. Have a Accused me of, ma'am. You are the only is. one that has used bad language here. Nobody else has used any bad language. You're the one that's cussing like a sailor I, here. I did curse twice out of frustration because your your people are calling me like I have a mental health problem and what medication am I on and that I'm ignorant and that I'm using... Well, ma'am, I'm just... A, I'm reading through the notes here. Drug. I'm reading Forget through it. the notes that Hank, Mr. Scobie wrote, no. and he says that you told him that you were hallucinating. Now, I... I, I, I am not hallucinating. Oh, my God. Good. I didn't say okay. that. Okay. Okay, this has to stop. Give me a phone number of, 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 um, of, of corporate, because you're going to hear from my attorney. I want that you number know. right now. I you can't. Know. I I know. I know. I can't give you out the corporate number, ma'am. That number is private. Okay. Well, I, then, then I'm gonna take this public, and you guys can deal with it that way. Okay. Wow. Look, ma'am. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a number for your lawyer to call. Okay. Yes. If that's what you would like, and uh, then it's gonna get you straight through to someone that can help. Do you have a pen there? I have a pen and I'm ready. Okay, it's six zero five four seven five. Did you get that? Four seven five? Yes, sir. Six oh five four seven five. And then the last numbers are thirty three sixty three. So three three six three, okay, ma'am? Correct. And and to whom will I be speaking? Uh, you well, that'll get you through to the corporate office. Okay, and um, I need the technician scheduled for tomorrow reinstated, please. I, I'm afraid. You know. I'm, I know. I'm afraid I can't do that, ma'am. Um, that that appointment has been canceled. I have to check when the next available appointment is for. Would you like me to do that for you? <sighs> okay. Now, according to the notes that Ron left, he said you were going to go ahead and plug an Ethernet cable into your router. Did you do that already? No, sir. I, I don't have the capability of doing that with my laptop right now, as I explained. It's he not had no difficult. Right, he had no right to cancel my appointment with the technician. Well, he did have the right. He I, works for the company. He has every right to, to do that, ma'am. That's his job. Now, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here, ma'am, because uh, the problem is if you're not willing to work with us to diagnose your problem, then I can't really send an engineer out there. Sir, yes? sir what I'm trying to say to you was that before Ron called, I already had a technician from you guys that yes. diagnosed the, the issue and took me through all the steps Hence, he realized that a technician had to come out to take care of the problem because the signal wasn't coming through the router, which Ron so, so you know, just said, I, know. I don't understand you know. the signal. You know, you I know. know. It, it, was, it was all handled. Okay. He had I no right to that. cancel my appointment. Okay. I didn't say I that. Spent I spent more time Which part you know, didn't you say that? and being combative with Ron you know, with I all know, of these you things know, I the know. way he was he was talking to me. You know. Yes, I know. Ma'am, uh, I'm just looking at the next available date when I have a technician. Uh, can you be home between eight AM and twelve PM on uh, Thursday the thirty fourth of October? 
Thursday what day? Uh, Thursday the 34th of October. There is no 34 of September. There are only 30 days in a month. Uh, not always, ma'am. Some of them have more than that. Uh, do you have a calendar there? I have a calendar. What is you the know, date? 8 a.m. to okay. 12 p.m. Thursday on what? September? Let me ask you a question. If every month only has 30 days, then what is the date of week today, next Wednesday? What is the date? Ron, you know what? It's the 31st, Some isn't have it? 31 days. Mm -hmm. you, you said know. 34. Yeah, I you said the 34th of October. I didn't say that. Which part didn't you say, ma'am? Hello? It's okay. I'm going to call AT&T um, directly. And make this, you don't need uh, to do that, ma'am. I'm right. So he I'm right here. Now, do you want me to schedule the technician between eight a.m. and twelve p.m. on Thursday, the thirty-fourth of October? There I, is no thirty-fourth day in September. I didn't say September, ma'am. You're not. You need to put your listening ears on and turn them up. I, I said the thirty-fourth of October. What is October? That's what it's coming out as. The 34th of October is what it's you're, what I'm Correct. hearing. Correct, yes. And he'll be there between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Is that okay for you? The 34th day of October? Correct, Can you yes, ma'am. It's, it's a Thursday. Do you, uh, you, do you have a calendar there in front of you? I do, but I realize there are no 34 days in a month. Ma'am, And there is no month called October. Ma'am, I don't know what drugs you're on, but it's on the standard metric calendar. Do you have a metric or an imperial calendar? <laughs> Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am? I think the line got disconnected again. Ma'am, can you hear me? All right. I don't know. I don't understand. Hello? Uh, yes, hello, ma'am. Are you okay there? <laughs> ma'am? Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. It's okay. I'm just recording your number and your voice and everything. It's all right. Um, is there, and you yourself have just accused me of being on drugs. So No, I asked uh, you. I asked yeah, you if you were okay. on drugs. I'm going to go ahead. I need to end this phone call. Okay. Because this is the most ridiculous, just abrasive um, conversation I've ever had with any company, and I will take this public. So, Hank, thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. That's Mr. Panish to you, okay? Holy mother of God. <laughs> that, that lady, so if she wasn't broken, now she's broken. <laughs> she's fucking so confused. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>